when you meditate, you're trying to find a center, a place where the mind can gather its energy. And you want to be able to do it not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you get up and move around. This is why we practice walking meditation, learning how to maintain that center and keep it as still as possible even though the body is moving. Find a path that's just right, not too long, not too short. If it's too short, you get dizzy turning around all the time. If it's too long, it's very easy for the mind to wander away. And walk at a fairly normal pace. You can walk a little bit slower than normal until you get used to the idea that you've got your center. You can choose any spot inside the body. I usually recommend someplace either in the head or in the torso because those are the parts of the body that move the least while you're walking. And then otherwise, focus on the breath the same way you do as you're sitting. When you get to the end of the path, stop for a second. Make sure your mind hasn't wandered off. And then turn around. Make a habit of turning around in the same direction all the time so you don't have to choose. It becomes automatic. And then start walking to the other end. Get to the other end. Okay, stop for a second. Make sure you haven't lost your mindfulness haven't lost your alertness. Mindfulness, of course, is keeping the breath in mind, and alertness is watching to see how it actually feels, and also to check to make sure the mind is staying with its object. And if you want, you can make it a game. You start out at the end of the path and say, I'm gonna get any thought that's going to pull me away in the, this walk down the path, I'm not going to go with it. You get to the other end, okay, you've made it that far. Now you turn around and you Make sure you don't wander off in the course of the next time. And after a while, it becomes more and more the place you really do want to stay. The spot in the body becomes your default mode, which is precisely what you want. You want this to be normalcy, the fact that the mind is centered. And then as you've learned how to keep it centered in the midst of a fairly simple activity, just like walking, then you can try something more complicated while you're sweeping up around the monastery, while you're cleaning, while you're working in the kitchen, working in the orchard. Try to maintain that center. Ultimately, you get so you can maintain it even while you're talking with other people, even while you're doing other kinds of work. There's a sense of being centered in the body. And that's what you want, because you want to be able to see the movements of the mind. And the only way you can see them is if you have a clear, steady center to measure them against. So make sure that this part of your practice doesn't get neglected.